Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn how to construct expression tree from a prefix notation. Now, if we are giving a prefix notation, we can easily construct an expression tree. But if we are giving a normal pre-order traversal, so in order to construct any binary tree out of any traversal order, we need at least two uh, traversing. For example, if we are given with uh, in order traversal and pre order traversal, then only we can construct a binary tree. But when it comes to expression, with only one uh, expression, like prefix notation, if we are having, then with the help of one expression, we can construct a, a expression tree. Because here uh, in the expression, we have the operators and operands, and whenever we come across operands, that is a kind of terminator, it, it is a kind of indicator, the leaf that we have approached. So uh, let's see that how to construct a expression tree out of giving any prefix expression. So on the screen, just have a look that this is one expression tree and this is the prefix for this expression tree. From the expression tree, we can get the prefix by just doing the pre-order uh, pre traversal. So pre-order traversal basically represent the prefix notation. Now here, what we are trying to do is we are having a prefix notation with us and out of this prefix notation, we are trying to get our expression tree. So let's see how to do this. Okay, so here uh, we'll look to the two examples. So we'll start with this example. So this is the tree, this is the expression. So now actually, uh, I have just shown you this tree because uh, just to, have a look that this expression is basically represented in this tree, but let's say this tree is not given to us. We are only having this expression and now we want to construct this tree out of this expression. Now, before we start, let us uh, just recall the properties of the expression tree that in the expression tree, the operands are found at the leaves and the operators are taking a position at internal nodes or at the root. So whenever we come across any operator, it will always look for two operands. In the prefix, we go from left to right. So in the prefix notation, while constructing our tree, we go from left to right. When we do postfix, we go from right to left. Okay, so whenever you find that operator is there, we always look for its operand, the left operand and the right operand. So for the operator, we always look for the, the left operand and the right operand. But when we get the operand, we will not expand and we will simply return back. So what does it mean? It means if we, if we look at this expression, we come across plus. So we will make this as a root. So uh, the, the very first, symbol that you see. So in the prefix, all the operators come before the operand. So this is an operator. Now we are looking for the operands. So this is an operator. So next you find it's minus. So minus is going to become your left operand. So you write here minus. Now minus itself is an operator. So you will not return back, but you keep on looking for its operand. So now you will find A. So this becomes the left operand and this is now operand is uh, maybe any value or a variable so you find this this a is a variable so you can find a uh, operand so you will not going to extend further we return back and look for the right operand so the right operand will be b here so now this itself gets completed so any expression gets completed when when you find operator and operand so here you have operands and operator so now the next is multiply. So now we are done with the left operand and next comes with the right operand for the plus operator. So multiply itself is an uh, operator. So we have to look for its operand. So we will find C. So the first thing that you find will go as a left operand and then the right operand. So this is the complete expression tree that we derive from this. So here you can see that this is and this is the same. And for every 
prefix uh, notation that we are having, we can only generate a unique expression tree. The same applies to postfix as well. And we already discussed that in the case of infix, there is a possibility that for any infix expression, we may come up with multiple expression trees. That's why while evaluating these expressions, we are not using the infix that creates the ambiguity. We always go for the prefix and postfix. Okay, now let's uh, look through this uh, prefix expression. And with the help of this expression, we are going to construct our expression tree. Okay, so we have to start from left to right. So we come across this uh, symbol, which is operator in itself. So this is going to become an operator. Because being an operator, we have to look for the left and right uh, operand for it. So the next we find is minus. So minus itself is an operator. So we keep on moving and looking for the operands. So we get plus. Now, again, we are looking for the same. So we get A is an operand. And now we cannot move further because we are done with the operand. And then we look for the next. So B will come here. Now, we have done with the left operand for minus. Now we have to move for the right. So right, we come across multiply, which itself is a operator. So we keep on moving, looking for the operand. So this is C and then D. Then we come across this, which is going to become uh, for this uh, modulus operator. But this itself is an operator, so we are searching for its operand. So we will find uh, this. And then we go for F and then G. And then here we find minus and then H and then I. So this is the expression tree that we have derived out of this. Uh, prefix notation and you will find that this that we have derived and the actual that is already given here is same because for every prefix notation when we drive the expression tree that comes out to be unique structure okay this is all and i believe that you have understood how to construct an expression tree out of any prefix notation thank you very much